Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. We'll be looking at the new Communication Manager 6.2 Feature Package 1 Special Application 9120 called Automatic Mute for Remote Off-Hook Attempts. This video will briefly explain the Communication Manager Special Application 9120 which provides a method to overcome a perceived security concern. This is a new feature functionality that is being delivered by the Communication Manager 6.2 Feature Pack 1 release. In a second, we'll look at a graphic that illustrates the issue. We'll be looking at implementing the special application SA9120 and provisioning it to overcome the concern. We'll use a Communication Manager special application screen and the SAT screens for station feature functionality. SA9120 is to be applied to individual endpoints and is not active by default. The station option defaults to no on page 2 of the station form. Let's look at the graphic to illustrate and visualize what the concern is and then go to the set to perform the work of enabling special application 9120. As you can see in the graphic, we have three parties involved. Howard and Leonard are discussing a confidential matter near Sheldon's desk. Sheldon, our villain in this story, has dialed into his desk extension using his cell phone and has answered the call on his IP soft phone. Sheldon's phone, being in the shared control mode, has enabled the speakerphone with the microphone enabled as well. Sheldon is now monitoring what is occurring around his telephone and has learned the confidential information being discussed. He appears to have made a decision to file a patent before Leonard and Howard. SA9120 will be used to overcome this problem. We will now provision the special application and implement it against Sheldon's extension 40,000. As you can see, I have logged into Communication Manager. The first step is to enable the special application. That operation is performed using the SAT command of change system parameters special applications. After entering that command you will need to go to page 10. Pressing the F8 key will take you to the previous page. The special application to note is the last one on page 10. Using the arrow keys select the yes no field currently set to a no. Overtype the N with a Y and submit the screen. You'll need to acknowledge the warning shown at the bottom of the screen which says, warning, activation of this feature confirms you accepted the associated risk. Pressing F3 again acknowledges your acceptance. This operation will enable a special application on each of the station forms with the default being no. A positive entry must be made on each station form to enable it for a given station. We will use Sheldon's extension of 40,000 to demonstrate the station translation work to be performed. I have entered the command of change station 40,000. Once the station form is presented, the option that we are concerned with is on page 2 of the station dialog screens. Pressing the F7 key advances a screen to page 2 of the station form. The item to be enabled is highlighted in yellow. Using the arrow keys to go down the page, select the yes no field concurrently set at no, overtype the N with a Y and submit the screen. Now looking at the graphic again, notice that Sheldon has set up the same call from his cell phone but does not hear anything as his speakerphone is muted. SA9120 was successfully implemented for Sheldon's telephone. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.